welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the relationship between two Aquarius. Um, these guys make a very good couple. For an intimate relation, I give them about 90% of the time they're going to work. The reason being is once they get past the initial phase of finding out whether or not they're attracted to each other, the sky is not the limit for how far these guys can go. Their attraction comes from both of their detachment to anything. They do not follow societal norms. They're not going to have any expectations within the relationship so that they behave a certain way. They're both considered black sheep in their families. So they're rebellious. And Aquarius is known to be like the voice of God, master of the 11th house. They have a higher frequency in the way in which that they view the world and the conversation that they'll have is something that if you're not an Aquarius, even I'm not an Aquarius, you're not really going to understand it fully. Like these guys really can look deep into life, deep into different perspectives and ideologies and see through them and dissect it past the ego. So these guys are very, very good when it comes to making connections with each other once they get past the attraction phase. This is also a great set for just flings. If you guys want to have a one night stand or anything of that sort, these guys are actually the perfect people to do it. Um, the reason being is Aquarius is so detached that if these guys want to just hook up every once in a while, it's going to work out. They will not be enemies. If they want to get together and actually form something that's meaningful and bonding, they can do that too because they still have that detachment to say, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does work, then great. Um, they're both very intelligent. Their conversations will never get dull or boring. There's a very electrifying presence about the two of them when they're together. And they really amplify each other's energy in a lot of different ways. Um, the only, I would say, con for this relationship would be if the sexual intimacy doesn't um, meet up to par. Meaning if one partner has more experience than the other, um, this could lead to a certain, a certain detriment, like where they just get a little bit bored. And when Aquarius gets bored or doesn't find um, something really exhilarating about their partner, they do tend to cheat. Like they're not the most uh, loyal sign out there when it comes to uh, being consistent and being in a stable ground relationship. They don't really believe in being stable. Their inner energy is chaos and they really thrive on chaos. And they're, a lot of geniuses, they always show them with like a messy room and all that stuff. That's the ideology. That's the whole impediment of Aquarius. These guys like to have like a mess to clean up. They like to live in chaos and then provide order into that set environment so in a relationship if they don't like what they have they'll they'll make chaos they'll argue um they'll be very cynical very critical towards their partner and then they can even like do infidelity either gender can do this um they usually communicate quite bluntly so you'll probably know if they're going to cheat anyways they don't really care if they get uh, found out if they get caught so these guys like i said their trust is a one you know, that's the only real con and that's something that can definitely be worked through and if there is an initial attraction my bet would be on that they've already had sex figured out if things are going to work in that area or not and if it does work then you guys are going to make for a very very good couple um, for a business compatibility you guys can do anything from like radio to telecommunications to anything computer based or anything to do with like innovating at all on um, the technological field is definitely really really good for you guys and anything to do with like communication based um, businesses will definitely work more just because you guys are an air sign it is a fixed air sign um, you guys are definitely able to transmit your ideas to make a lot of money and you guys are usually considered pioneers in different lanes that you guys uh, delve into however um, you guys both can be very much in the air about your thought processes at times and consistency definitely is a hallmark for you guys if you're actually fixated on something and you want to do it but if that interest does fade or if you guys have two different visions, um, that can lead to some problems. I would still give a business compatibility between you guys about 85% of the time going to work. Um, just because I know if you guys were to partner up for a business, you would see the utility in each other. You would see what role needs to be played and then just go from there. Um, if that is not the case, there could be certain problems where one person maybe feels like they have a better idea than the other. Uh, my main practice for this is that if you guys are going to work in a partnership, whether it be... Um, in something like telecommunications, radio based, whatever it may be, social media. I would say both of you guys should do your work separately because you guys work so well by yourselves that you guys should literally have morning meetings. I Meaning you just come brainstorm, do your ideas and then have a meeting at the conclusion of each day to say, like to see where each person has, um, I guess, accelerated the process of what you guys are supposed to be doing. Have you filled out the checklist for the day? What have you done? And then you guys can kind of like just feed off each other, get a momentum. You guys are able then to see what exactly happened throughout the day, see where your mind's at the end of the day, and then do the same thing the next day. If you guys are able to do that, just have like kind of like um, a preliminary meeting and then a post meeting after the workday, 
you guys will just get along fine. That also goes for an employee-employer sort of um, regime as well, where if you have two Aquariuses and one's an employer, one's a manager, the next one is an employee. My advice to you is if you're the manager for this employee, give them a lot of space to actually really be creative and do the job in which the way they want to do it. As long as they're hitting the checklist and getting the things done based on your credentials, it should be completely fine. And as the employee, make sure that you are still understanding that your boss is going to have certain measures. They're going to have certain things you're going to have to check off and you have to follow those processes. If you want to add your own spin on into it and make, maybe do it even better, then do that. But make sure that the foundational checklist is checked off before you start doing your own thing and putting your own curve on it. Um, last but not least, there's the friendship base for these guys. Friendship works quite well as well. 90% of the time it's going to work. Um, two Aquarius people are probably the people that I wouldn't talk to a lot of people in class or throughout work. They're the type of people that might not be in the center of attraction. They can be if their moon or ascendant sign is something different, but we're talking about strictly sun signs here. They're the type of people that wouldn't really be around the crowd that much. They want to just have their own time, be the more of the loner types, thinking, innovating, uh, just doing things more so on their own. So if you get these two as friends that come together, they're more than likely either start a business together or they'll be the people that will actually assist each other on finding their purpose. Um, they're very much able to come together and have very great conversations. Like I said, it's the same with an intimate relation. Their friendship will be even better because there's more detachment, there's less expectations, and then the sky is the limit for where their friendship could go. This is definitely something I see. Being